We started talking about division in the last video, 12.8. Now we're going to be talking about making equal groups. This is division again. This is lesson 12.9. When we divide, we separate items into equal groups. That means each group will have the same number of items. Here we have six rhombuses, and we split it into two groups, one, two. And they both have three in each group. See, two groups of three. Now here's six rhombuses again, but look, I made the circles going this way. So out of the six, I've got three groups with two in each group. See that? We can make equal groups in different ways. So just to review, the first number is called the dividend. This is the division sign, and this is the divisor, and the answer is called the quotient. This is six divided by two is equal to three. What it means is we have six in all, and we're dividing it into two groups, and there's going to be three in each group. And that's a division sentence. There's a division sign, so that's a division number sentence. Okay? So we can use counters and make equal groups in different ways. So in all of these examples, there's six counters in all. But look at how they change. Six counters in all, we can make three groups of two. The six is divided into three groups with two in each group. Here, we've got six counters, but it's in two groups. And there's three in each group, so now we have six divided by two equals three. See how they traded places? See that? Now we have six counters, but we made six groups with one in each group. If we have six in all, and we make six groups, there's going to be one in each group. Six divided by six equals one. Now we just have one group of six. If we have six gems and we make it all into one group, there's going to be six in the group. So six divided by one equals six. See, one group. That second number, the divisor, tells us how many groups. Okay? So we can circle equal groups and write the numbers. It says there's eight in all. Can we make equal groups? Yeah. We can make a group of four and a group of four, couldn't we? That would be equal groups. We would have two groups of four, wouldn't we? All right. Now we have eight again. How else can we split this up? We had two groups of four here. What if we went this way? and made four groups. We could make four groups of two, couldn't we? And it's still eight. We could either do two groups with four in each group, or we could do four groups with two in each group. All right? Now look at this one. It says there's 20 in all. How can we split this up? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 10 and 10. That's 20. So we could split this into two groups, couldn't we? It's a group of 10, and that's a group of 10, right? So we could have two groups of 10. 20 divided by 2 will equal 10 in each group, right? All right, now we have 20 again. How else can we divide this? What if we did 5? It's okay if they move. They're still inside the group, right? and 5, and 5, and 5. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 groups, and there's 5 in each group. 20 divided by 4 will equal 5. See? Do you see what happened? We really just took the group of 10 and cut it in half to make two more, didn't we? So that would be one, two, three, four groups instead of two groups. See, we just kind of split it right here and turned it into four groups with five in each one because each five and five is 10, isn't it? Well, how else can we do this? If we have 20 in all, how else can we split this up? Well, we can actually make one, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, get over there, 
seven, eight, nine, ten groups with two in each group. See that? We all co also could have made five groups that each have four in them. There's all different ways to separate 20. We could have made 20 groups that have one in each one, just like we did over here. Or we could have made one big group with 20 in it, couldn't we have? Okay? So there's all different ways to split up numbers, especially if it's an even number. Odd numbers don't break up very easily, okay? But if it's an even number, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, like that, then it's going to break up easier, okay? So let's try some problem solving. It says Emma has 12 white socks, and she needs two socks to make a pair. She doesn't want to wear just one sock, right? She needs two socks to make a pair. So how many pairs of socks can Emma make? So here's these 12 socks. We need two to make a pair, don't we? So that would be one pair of socks. That's two pairs of socks. That's three pairs of socks. That's four pairs of socks. Five pairs of socks. Six pairs of socks. We put them in groups of two to make pairs, and she can make one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of socks. Okay? Now, Bob has seven socks. He needs two socks to make a pair. Well, how many more socks does he need to have five pairs of socks? So how many pairs does he have now? He's got seven socks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven socks. And that makes one pair. That makes another pair. And that makes another pair. But that's only one, two, three pairs. He needs five pairs. So how many more socks does he need? Well, we could give him another sock, right? So that's another pair. Now he's got one, two, three, four pairs, but he needs five pairs. So we need to draw another pair, don't we? Now he's got one, two, three, four, five pairs of socks. So how many more socks did we need to draw because he had seven, how many socks did we need to draw so that he would have five pairs? We had to draw one, two, three. He needed three socks. Because it says, how many more socks does he need to have five pairs? Three socks. One, two, three. And now he's got five pairs. Okay? So, remember that we can make equal groups in a lot of different ways. And when we're dividing, we're separating things into equal groups. It's got to be equal. Got to have the same number in each group in order for it to be an equal group. Okay? Our next video, we're going to talk about how to use a pictograph. That's a chart that uses pictures. Okay? I hope I'll see you there. Don't forget to hit the like button, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye!